So this is a dynamic system simulator running on an FPGA and uh, the waveforms at the bottom of the screen are the positions of the balls at the top. It's a classic three spring, two ball, but one of the springs is nonlinear, I believe, right? All three, All three of them have cubic terms. All three of them have cubic terms, which is why there's so much harmonic distortion in the waveforms. Very cool. Yep. The top's calculated um, from the arm on the DE1 SOC, sent over to the FPGA, that then writes it to the frame buffer, and the bottom waves are uh, calculated straight on the FPGA and then written on its own frame buffer and based on where it needs to draw the FPGA switches between frame buffers and sends back updated positions to the arm so they can redraw the uh, balls. So the the arm is drawing the top uh, the top uh, panel yep. and the bottom panel is done directly in FPGA hardware. Yep. Yep. Cool. We have four parallel lines of parallel axi lines, yeah. par four parallel axi bus. Okay, can you restart the simulation there real quickly? Sure. Uh, Want to give it a different uh, condition? Uh, sure, we can do a different condition. So let's stop it. Let's go, what, dev one? Or def one? Def, yeah. Def one. Okay. And yeah. start it up. And so this is a, also a nonlinear spring? Yeah. Yes. So I just lost focus. Can you tap on the screen? Thank you. No, the one without the nonlinearity. Yeah. Sure. Right. Just says zero. And then cubic. Just cubic zero. zero. A cubic zero, and then just and restart this one. So this is without the cubic term now. So. So this is a purely linear system, and it's in phase, so that the the center spring always stays stays the same length. Nice. 